The United Kingdom transportation system has been plagued with challenges, consistent delays and over-congestion. The UK government, recognising the need for an overhaul, has embarked on a project to upgrade and enhance the British rail network. To overcome some of these challenges, the British government decided to build the HS2 rail network. The HS2 is a groundbreaking railway project set to connect London's Euston train station to central Birmingham's Curzon Street station, marking the beginning of an impressive infrastructure transformation in the country. The prospect of modern, high-speed trains, coupled with new stations and improved infrastructure, seems like an unquestionable step forward, a development that few would contest, right? However, the cost and management of the project have left people wondering whether the project still serves the intended purpose. So, why is it so controversial? Join us on a journey as we explore the High Speed 2 or HS2 rail, a groundbreaking project set to redefine the landscape of UK transportation. Discover the innovative features, the eco-friendly interchange station near Birmingham Airport, the challenges and controversies surrounding this staggering $136.45 billion budget and the visionary contractors shaping the project's success. And for more videos like this, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's start with an overview of the project. The High Speed 2 or HS2 railway is a cutting-edge high-speed rail line in the works, set to connect London and Birmingham as well as Manchester and Leeds. Often referred to as the Y network due to its distinctive shape resembling the letter Y, this project is making waves as one of the most significant transportation infrastructure endeavours ever undertaken in the UK. By slashing journey times between major urban centres, this railway network aims to enhance travel efficiency, fuel economic growth and generate thousands of job opportunities. The UK government's green light in April 2020 set the wheels in motion, allowing companies to kickstart construction while adhering to COVID-19 safety measures. Initially slated for passenger operations in 2026, HS2's commissioning timeline has shifted slightly, with expectations now set between 2028 and 2031. Notably, the UK already boasts a 108km high-speed railway line known as High Speed 1 or HS1. However, the line has experienced significant challenges over the years, prompting the construction of HS2 to ease the stress on the UK rail network. Now let's take a look at the timeline of the HS2 and total line length. In January 2009, the Department for Transport or DFT, initiated the HS2 project. The groundwork began with the submission of proposals to the government in the first quarter of 2010, leading to the announcement of the preferred route option in October 2010. By July 2011, the public had their say in the proposals through a comprehensive consultation, and the government gave its approval to the recommended route in January 2012. Phase 1 of the HS2 project focuses on essential aspects such as engineering, design and environmental considerations. The necessary authorization to construct this phase cleared both Houses of Parliament, receiving royal assent in February 2017 through a hybrid bill. The second phase unfolds in two stages, Phase 2A and Phase 2B, and the House of Commons approved Phase 2A in July 2019. How will the HS2 railway network connect London to Birmingham? The HS2 begins from London's Euston train station, stretching its reach to central Birmingham's Curzon Street station. The proposed London to Birmingham line spans approximately 225 kilometres. From this pivotal point, the railway branches in two, extending its arms toward the vibrant cities of Manchester and Leeds seamlessly connecting with the established East and West Coast main lines. The entire Y network covers London, Birmingham, Manchester and Leeds around 531 kilometres. 
Embarking on the London to Birmingham leg, the route ventures through a 7.2-kilometer tunnel post Euston, creating an efficient underground passage. The railway line passes through new interchange stations at Old Oak Common in northwest London. The project's heartbeat lies near the Birmingham airport, where up to five trains per hour will gracefully pass through the new interchange. Here, an automated train will take centre stage, precisely linking the NEC and the International Station. This train, operating along a 2.3-kilometre-long route, boasts the impressive capacity to transport 2,100 passengers an hour in each direction, enhancing connectivity and accessibility. The Interchange Station embraces an environmentally friendly design, aiming for net-zero carbon emissions with over 2,000 square meters of solar panels. Who are the contractors involved with HS2 construction? In January 2012, CH2M Hill took on the role of development partner for the HS2 project, providing crucial expertise in engineering, design and environmental aspects. Soon after, in March 2012, HS2 enlisted the collaboration of the ERM Temple Group Mott MacDonald Consortium, Atkins and Arup to conduct comprehensive environmental impact assessments, or EIAs, for the entire project. As the wheels of progress turned, April 2012 witnessed HS2 forging contracts with Mott MacDonald, Atkins, Capita Simmons, Inico JV, and Arab. These partnerships were tasked with the intricate design of various segments along the high-speed line. Parsons Brinkerhoff, in May 2012, secured contracts to design high-speed rail systems for the project's first phase and implement design changes on existing network rail systems at crucial interface points, paving the way for HS2 construction. To kickstart the project, three joint ventures, or JVs, took the stage. The Costain Group and Skanska Construction UK JV undertook responsibilities for Area South, while Fusion JV, comprised of Morgan Sindel Construction and Infrastructure, Bam Nuttall and Ferrovial Agraman, and LM JV, consisting of Lango Rock Construction and J. Murphy and & Sons, spearheaded the central and northern area works. In a pivotal move, the joint venture of Skanska, Strabag, and Costain secured the main civil engineering works contract for Area South. As part of this collaborative effort, Skanska received a contract to execute the full detailed design and construction of Phase 1 in the southern area. The expertise of Ovarup and Partners International and WSP UK came to the forefront in February 2018 when they were selected for station design services contracts. Simultaneously, Lendlease took on the role of the Master Development Partner, or MDP, for the Euston Station area, contributing to the vision and planning of this crucial transportation hub. Further down the supply chain, Cleveland Bridge took on the responsibility of supplying 1,130 tonnes of steel girders. These girders are vital support elements for constructing four modular bridges at the new Solihull Interchange Station, showcasing the collaborative effort and diverse skills brought to the table by various partners in realizing the HS2 project. Now let's take a look at the costs and challenges. The project's implementation expenses have skyrocketed from the initial estimate of $72.6 billion to a staggering $136.5 billion. This financial commitment underscores the scale and significance of the HS2 project, marking a pivotal step in reshaping the UK's transportation landscape. However, due to the enormous budget allocated to this project, it has faced much criticism over the years, with protest-related expenses amounting to $75 million. The project has also faced consistent budget overruns, delays and criticism from environmental activist groups, making it one of the most controversial projects in the UK. However, the British government has slowly pushed forward, aiming to see the completion of the project by 2040. 
And there you have it, an overview of the HS2 project. What are your thoughts on this monumental effort? Drop your comments below and show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing for more in-depth insights into mega projects around the world. Stay engaged for future updates and until then, keep the spirit of innovation alive.